All right, guys, this is Defkin here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about tweening GUIs. Okay, so what is tweening and what are GUIs? <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys should know what GUIs are. They're like the things that are on your screen, right? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and insert a screen GUI and a start a GUI. And then I'm going to insert a frame. And then I'm going to insert a text button. Okay, so before I actually do anything, first, let me explain what I'm going to do. So, um, first of all, leave a like. Second of all, <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little inventory slash, yeah, I'm going to make a little inventory, okay? So we're going to pretend this is an inventory. Okay, I know it's not, but we're going to make this an inventory. And then whenever you press the button, oh my gosh, I cannot grab this. All right, then whenever you press the button right here, this inventory will come off the screen and then like slide right in really nicely and it'll be here, right? So we're going to go ahead and rename this to inventory to make sure that's clear. Um, inventory, and then we're going to name this one to open inventory, okay? And then I'll change the text of this one a little bit too. Obviously, you want to make sure it looks a little nicer, so I'll make it like a nice green button, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. And then I'll make the text scaled, and then, um, no, that doesn't. Okay, um, wrong one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change that to open inventory. And then change the font to like that. Perfect, looks beautiful. All right, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is, now that we have the ugliest button on Roblox, <laughs> it's fine, it's just for demonstrational purposes, but it's fine. Okay, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and make this just a little, maybe a dark shade of gray, just, there we go, that's our inventory, okay. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and move this off the screen a little bit. I'll move it up here just because I want to keep it on the screen a little bit. That way you guys can know where it's coming from. But I'll move it up there for now. Just pretend it's off the screen, okay? Pretend that's cut off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and if you actually, for example, if you actually did want to have it off the screen, you would just use your size values and then, you know, like make it negative. So on the x-axis, you'd make it negative 0.2 right and now it's off the screen but I'm gonna undo that press control Z because I want it to be on here that way I don't lose it enough don't have to mess with these numbers right here okay so first things first let's go ahead and insert a local script into our screen GUI and uh, obviously let's go ahead and define our screen GUI um, actually let's just define the inventory all right define the inventory so local inventory is equal to script dot parents which is the screen GUI and then dot inventory and then we're gonna do local open inventory is equal to script dot parent dot open inventory. There we go. And now we're gonna do open inventory mouse or dot mouse button one up. So if the if the mouse is clicked or if it clicks on the or if the player lets go of the mouse on top of the the thing, which is basically like a click, it's it's like you know you click down, let go, it'll open. Okay. Um, or this event will run. And then we're gonna go ahead and do inventory tween size. Okay, so here's where we're inventory. Okay, so wait, let me right here, right here. It's a comment. I'm going to put open inventory. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tween this, um, which has a list of properties. Okay, do not get confused. Don't worry. There's a lot of properties. It's going to look really, it's might look confusing at first, but trust me, it's not. It's very easy. Okay, all right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do inventory colon tween size and position. You don't actually have to even use tween service. There's a built-in tween inside of GUI elements, so you don't even need to use tween service. So that's pretty nice. But anyways, um, you're gonna put a colon and then tween size and position, tween position and tween size. For now, we're gonna do position, okay? And then we'll go through these in a, in a second, which are not very different, but we'll just explain those later. All right, so for now, we're gonna do tween position. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the properties. And actually, before I do that, let me show you the properties. Okay, so first things first, you have quite a few properties when you do this, okay? Like you have, oh, oh gosh, you have quite a few properties. So one of the properties is the position. Okay, so actually, I'll go through them all right now, and then I'll type them, and then I'll re-explain them too. All right, so the first one is end position. So where do you want it to end up? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the second one is the easing direction. Which direction do you want it to go? Now, even though it's going to actually go, um, it's going to go... This is this this is weird, but just know that most of the time you'll use out, and then if you want it to go back in, you'll use in. Now, honestly, this isn't going to affect anything, so don't worry if you put the easing direction to something you don't want it to be. Um, but yeah, 
Basically, it's, it's used for easing styles. That's why people have it. Uh, and the easing style, so there's, there's a bunch of different styles when you actually ease stuff or when you use the tween. And um, I'll just go ahead and show you them right now. I'll show you this again in a second, but these are all the styles, right? You have a bunch of cool styles. Um, and then you have, I'll show you in a second, don't worry. Um, and then you have um, how long do you want it to take, so number, time, and seconds. And then these two functions, we can, or these two parameters, we can ignore for now. This one's saying override. So if there's a tween already going on, do you want it to stop that one and override it? And then this one is um, function callback. So do you want a function to run after this tween is finished? Right? That's that. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and type this now. So I'm going to do tween position. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Now we're actually going to be typing this on like right here. We could just type like a normal function, right? And put the parameters in here, right? But since we're putting so much stuff in here, I feel like it's almost easier to read if I just put it like that, right? So we're going to write it like that. Okay. So the first parameter, um, as you guys remember, uh, is the end position. So where do you want it to end up? Okay. Now how you put this, okay, um, is you obviously get your position. So where do you want it to be? Um, so as you can see, if you click on your GUI element and you go to position, you have this weird number right here. And I, you, I did explain this, so if you guys don't know what this means, definitely go watch that. This is the scale on the left, and this is the offset on the right. So pixels on the right, and then the scale is like um, how much of the screen is taken up, or how much of the screen uh, in proportion to one, some zero to one. So yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these numbers, okay, and we're going to put them into our... Um, position now you don't just put like that and then you don't just put you know you don't just put <laughs> the numbers like that naked right like, you, you know what I'm saying you need to actually have them in something like normally for like position you do vector three uh, normally for um, you know colors you do color three right but we're not using those we're gonna be using a new thing which you guys have never learned before if you've watched my tutorials only which is UDEM 2 and now what UDEM 2 is is it basically is just how you pass through um, um, scale and offset, or the X scale, the Y scale, and the X and Y offset, or the X, Y scale, and the X, Y offset. So yeah, that's what that does. And then scale obviously passes scale, and then offset off passes the obviously passes offset. But we're going to be doing udem.new, which is just both of them, not udem.from scale or udem.from offset. All right, udem.new. And then we just pass in the X scale, which is um, this right here. So we'll pass that in. Um, and, and then the offset as well, because it needs offset, so we'll keep that at zero. And then we want to pass in the Y scale, which is that right there. So there we go, that's that easy. Okay, so next, all right, so that's the that's the position. Okay, that's where you want it to be. So that's gonna be N position. Okay, next parameter we need to add is the, okay, I put a comma there too, because whenever you, you know, put functions or put parameters in a, you know, in a, or put parameters in a function, you need to make sure you separate them by a comma, so yeah, um, you guys know that. Anyways, next, easing direction. Okay, so for now, we're gonna just do out, okay? Just bear with me on that one, I'll explain that in a second more, but for now, just type out, okay? There's also out, and there's also in, and there's also out in, okay? But for now, we're just gonna do out. Now, those, are the three, those are the three easing directions. So that's easing direction, okay? Um, let me put a comma there, sorry. The next parameter is easing style. Now this is where it gets a little fun, okay? So uh, whenever you use tweens, there's a built-in list of easing styles, which are basically ways that it tweens, okay? And uh, I'll show you the wiki post root, the wiki post right here. Um, it, should be, it should be linked in the description if I remember. If I don't remember, I'm sorry. But anyways, this is that. So basically what it's saying right here, these are the easing styles. So um, as you can see, if you could look at all these, these are all out by the way. And also like you can see this is in and that's out. And the reason why it's like that is because you see like, okay, let's watch one for example. Okay, so look at elastic. Okay, whenever it, it's out right now. So whenever it goes in, it bounces slowly and then it bounces out and then goes right down. And then it went back, but then it bounced back fast. So you see what I'm saying? The easing styles change um, whenever the easing direction is changed. So yeah. But for most things, you'll just use out. So yeah. Anyways, um, okay. So yeah, these are all very different. Okay. So as you can see, elastic is like a little bouncy thing. Bounce is also pretty bouncy. Um, linear is just linear, straight. Uh, very, you know, it doesn't slow down at the end. You have things like sine, which actually will slow down at the end. Um, 
Actually, no, I think that's quad. I don't know, but they're all very different, right? And as you can see, you can just look at them and see. Um, but for this one, we'll use quad. I like quad. It looks pretty cool. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put in there quad, and then that'll be the easing style. And then also, let me actually get that there for now. All right, that'll be the easing style. And then next, we need to put the time. So how long do you want it to last, or how long do you want it to be? In seconds, so time in seconds. So we'll just want it to do it in one second. That'll that's good for us, right? Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a comma for the comma. Um, and then we're gonna put, um, oh yeah, override. So this means um, will the tween override and in progress tween. So we're gonna put for that false, or you can put true if you want. I don't really care. There's, we're only running one tween at a time. And actually, well, it does. Okay, we'll be. We, okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll throw that for that false, okay? Um, just for now. It won't matter. It won't change our, our situation right now. But this is override any other tweens. So that, that's what that means, okay? So if that's set to true, then it's going to stop any other tweens and then automatically do this one. Um, or But if it's not, then it won't override the other ones. So yeah. Okay, and then the last one is callback. Uh, or that's what it is, or that's the name of the parameter. And basically, you pass through a function in there, but we don't really have any functions we want to pass through whenever it's finished. So for that, we can leave it blank, or we can put nil. And nil means nothing, right? Nil means just nothing. So for that, we'll leave it blank because by default, Roblox has a proper, or Roblox has a default parameter, which is nil. Okay, so don't, you can leave that one blank. You can also leave this one blank too, and this will have a default parameter. They actually all have a default parameter, um, which is out quad one and false so if you could literally only type this one and it'll tween if you wanted it to but obviously you want to customize it a little bit more um, but yeah okay so we'll leave the we'll leave the last parameter blank and put nothing there because for now we just want um, nothing for there yeah okay perfect all right so now if we run this it should work let's go and test it out and see if it works okay oh wait I'm a little silly, I'm a little silly, I'm a little silly. Okay, let me put this back here uh, on the edge of the screen. That's my bad. Um, I'm actually, I'm excited to see this, man. <laughs> I, I don't know how it's going to look. I hope it looks good. <laughs> it, it, it might look not that great, but we can always tweak it, so don't worry. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit open inventory and see if it works. And boom, look at that. Isn't that so cool? Like, it just opened up super nicely, super clean. No, no, like, you know, oh, I love, I'm sorry, I'm, I love that. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put 0.5. We'll move it a little bit faster. I wanna see what it looks like. Um, well, this is how you make your, you know, GUIs a little bit prettier, how to animate them, so yeah. But boom, that, that, oh, I just, I love it. I love it. Uh, all right. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's pretty much that. So that's how you tween position. It's pretty simple, right? It wasn't too hard. Um, and if you don't, if you never fr forget the parameters, remember there's always like a wiki. You can go to the wiki and um, look up, you know, tween position, and then you can find the parameters here again. Uh, but you can also find them in Roblox Studio. Whenever you type the, the function, it actually pops up there. Like you know, whenever I when I do when I do like this, you see all the parameters pop up there. But anyways. Um, yeah, that's what that is. Okay, next we're gonna do tween size, and actually you can even leave this the. I'm pretty sure. Wait, tween size. Yeah, you can leave this the exact same. Um, like if you wanted to, it's just it's gonna tween the size. Now, obviously the the size is different from the position, so it's gonna look really weird when that happens. But let me move this back here, and uh, we'll use all the same parameters because it uses the same parameters. Everything is the same. Um. Um, even the the this, but this is actually the end size. Now that's all that is, and that's that's the only difference. So we'll go ahead and hit play. It even has the callback function at the end if you wanted it, but we're not doing that. All right, anyways. So we're going to hit play, and then we'll hit open, and then it tweens it. You see? Um, now obviously we we don't have it tweening back, but if we wanted to, we could. That could look really cool too. It'd be fun to play with. But um, yeah, that's what tween size is. And then there's one more thing, one more thing I want to show you, which is tween size and position. And now the only difference between this, this, and um, you know, the other ones is you add, an, you need to add one more, uh, one more udem value, uh, which is the end position. Okay, so we'll do, um, we'll just type in something random. We'll do 0.250 point three zero okay now I don't know I know how I don't know how it's gonna look but it, it might look good also if you ever forget like which ones comes first look at like the function name 
size comes first and then position comes second. Thankfully, they named like that. Thank God <laughs> they didn't like, you know, do it backwards. Anyways, I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll see. Uh, here we go. Oh, I messed it up. Forgot to put the comma. That's my bad. Put the comma, guys. Make sure you put the commas. Um, you know, they, they, they get mad when they don't see your commas. So, yeah, it's like it's they're like English teachers. <laughs> I don't know. All right, but as you can see, it tweened, right? And now that it wasn't the, the prettiest tweens, we just put it there. But obviously, um, you know, you can make it look prettier however you wanted it to. But, yeah. All right, anyways, that's pretty much tween service. Or not tween service. Tween service I explained in another video. Um, but this is how you tween GUIs, which is built into GUI objects. You don't have to even use tween service. But, yeah, anyways, uh, actually, if you want to learn about tween service, I made a video on that. So, yeah, start to up tween service dev king. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And next one, actually, I was going to make scrolling frame of this video, but I didn't. But next video will be UI constraints. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the GUI series so far. It's episode five. I plan on having about nine episodes, um, but we might have one more or two. I don't know. But if anything comes up, I will add that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.